And unfortunately, out of all the cars, the brand new one has the rock chip. But we're gonna show you in today's video how you can actually fix this yourself in a matter of minutes and go from this to this. Let me show you how to do it. Aloha guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time tuning in, my name is Chad Nahol Level. Welcome to the little piece of paradise I call the Lone Star Hawaiian Garage. Who's ready to fix a windshield? Uh, this guy. Let's get to it. Now before we dive all the way into this, I do want to apologize to those returning subscribers because I did say we'll be modifying the truck in today's video. We're about 99% through the modification on the truck and it turns out one of the parts I use has a minor defect in it. I'm working with the company right now, they're gonna be sending out a replacement this week, so it should be here this week, but I didn't want to not post anything for you guys and we do have, have some bad news and that bad news is with the charger. A massive rock chip in this wonderful front windshield. So that big old chip right there happened courtesy of all the construction that's going on around here. In regards to the kit we're using, we have a windshield repair kit from Blue Star. Really, there's a ton of these on the market and they all really work under the same principle. They inject a glass resin into the chip or crack to seal it, preventing it from cracking even more. And it actually clears it up to make it look like it might have never happened in the first place. The reason we're using the Blue Star one, it actually pulls a vacuum prior to injecting that resin to ensure there's no air left in the crack when it's all sealed up. So we have the charger sitting out here in the sunlight. And the reason for that is the temperature of the windshield does actually matter. We're in the middle of winter. I need the temperature of the windshield to increase a little bit. So it's sitting in the sunlight. On the alternative, if you're in the dead of summer and your car's been sitting in the sunlight all day, the temperature of your windshield is gonna be too hot. It needs to cool down, pull it in the shade. So I say winter, but we actually live in Texas and it's like 45 degrees out, so it's really not too bad. So once the windshield warms up, we're gonna pull the charger right back in the garage and get the fill in that crack. So here we have the contents of our windshield repair kit. First thing we're gonna do is grab this thumbtack and head over to the chip in the windshield. I've taped a piece of cardboard on the backside in order to help see this crack in the windshield a little bit better. What we're gonna do with this thumbtack is get it right in that crack where that rock or whatever hit and scrape out any loose glass particles out of this area. Don't go too crazy with it, but it'll also help open up this opening a little bit more in order for the glass resin to penetrate better. Next thing you're gonna do is clean off that front windshield. Typically you can grab an alcohol wipe and wipe out this area here. It'll help wipe out any of those glass particles you just scraped out. And you need this area here to be very clean. What I'm gonna use is a simple glass cleaner, but this area needs to be clean because the adhesive discs need a good bond. Because you're gonna pull a vacuum seal here, you need this to be super clean. So I'm gonna hit it with some glass cleaner, clean this off and then grab your adhesive disc. Now, just as a rule of thumb, when it comes to repairing chips and cracks like these, they need to be under the size of a quarter in order for this kit to work properly. So as you see there, we are under the size of a quarter. And also it needs to have somewhat of an opening in the crack. If it's a crack without an opening, the resin is not gonna be able to penetrate anywhere. It's not gonna do any good. So this one has an opening. It's under the size of a quarter. So we can proceed with the repair kit. Now grab your adhesive disc out of the kit. It's got two adhesive sides. Now pull off one adhesive side center this amongst the hole, not necessarily the crack, but the opening in which the resin is going to be penetrating. Don't press too hard down because you don't want that crack to spread, but make sure that has a really good seal on there. And then next up, you're gonna peel off this adhesive side and you're gonna go grab your pedestal and place it right on top. You're gonna peel that off. Now, similar to the windshield being clean, you want this bottom surface of the pedestal to be just as clean. So definitely wipe that off. Whatever alcohol you just used, go ahead and use it again. Make sure that this is centered on the disc and press that down. Now, the next thing you're going to be doing is adding resin into the pedestal, but this has a tendency to make a mess. So what I have always done is simply just put a piece of towel or tape or whatever down here to catch any resin that might be falling down. So we're just taping that to the windshield. You're gonna unscrew the top and you're gonna fill the pedestal all the way to the very top. Even if it spills over a little bit, that's fine. You want this filled all the way to the top. And... Um... All right, once it's filled all the way to the top, you wanna to put the cap back on it because you're gonna use this one more time at the very end. Next up is the plunger. What you're gonna do is make sure that this is pressed 
all the way in, and this is gonna pull a vacuum seal inside of this pedestal. So what you're gonna do is stick this all the way in as far as it goes. That's what she said. <laughs> You're gonna hold it with one hand. You're gonna pull this all the way out. You'll see that there is two notches on this right here. You want the lower notch to lock into this metal clip right here. So you're gonna pull that all the way up to the second notch. You're gonna twist it and then you let it sit. So what this is is a vacuum chamber. It's pulled out any air that might be sitting inside the crack and you're gonna let this sit for 10 minutes. Now it's pretty cool to see this thing go to work from the inside. As this pulls vacuum, if you look close here, you'll see some of the air bubbles escaping the damaged piece of my front windshield. What this is gonna do is allow, when we inject the resin back into the crack, fill every part of the crack to make this as invisible as possible. Now, in order to help some of the bubbles escape, you can kind of tap on the front windshield to try to vibrate some of the air out of that crack, because sometimes it does get stuck in there pretty well. So now that the air bubbles have escaped, what we're gonna do is remove the syringe and then simply place it back in. It's gonna delete or cancel the vacuum seal we have in here. And then we're gonna press that down to inject that resin into the crack. So you're gonna hold down the pedestal and then simply lift up and then put it right back in. And the next thing you're gonna do is rotate this once again to unlock it and then press it down to the second tab so you can lock it. So now there's pressure pressing down. It's gonna inject that resin into the crack. And another trick you can try, so I just went and checked. There's a small amount of the crack where I can kind of still see it. And you can kind of cheat a little bit and press a little bit past the notch to help pressurize that and encourage it to get down to the crack a little bit more. But don't press too far down because you'll burst the seal. But uh, you can give it some encouragement there. And you're gonna let that sit for 20 minutes. Okay, you're gonna take the supplied razor blade and then pull out that. So that's done. And then you can use the razor blade. Be careful not to scratch your windshield. Okay. And then down comes all your extra resin, which is why we have this here. You don't wanna wipe right at the crack because you'll contaminate the resin with your paper towel, whatever you're wiping with. Okay, next up, you're gonna do the pit filling procedure as the instructions are calling it. You're gonna put a small dab of resin right at the crack, and then you're gonna take your UV sheet, put it at the bottom, and then bend it, pressing upward. This is gonna keep out any air bubbles. All right, let's crank this thing up, pull it in the sunlight, and let this cure. Now the car sitting in direct sunlight now, we pulled it forward. We have a beautiful sun, it utilizes the UV rays to cure the resin. The instructions say in a bright sunny day, it'll take 15 minutes, on a hazy day about an hour. But given it is winter time, that sunshine is not as strong as it is during the summer. We're gonna let that sit for about 30 minutes and we'll be right back to pull that off, scrape it off, and we'll be nice and happy and done. All right, it's been about 30 minutes. You're gonna take the edge. So you want to pull up kind of while you twist. The last thing you want to do is pull the resin out of that crack after all that work. Just like that. And then you're going to take your razor blade and scrape off any of that excess resin that's still on the windshield. Car's back in the garage, taking a look here at the repair. You can't even see it. I'm so excited that this is just practically invisible. Now I say practically because if I catch the right light, it's so small now that the camera won't even focus in on it. 
So right there, if you, catch, if you catch it in the right light, you can still see somewhat of a little crack there. But again, as you see before, that was the before, and then now we're looking at this afterwards. And it's, again, like I said, practically invisible. From the inside here, taking a look, there's still a slight, I guess, little smudge mark, you can call it, right about there. But one, it's not gonna spread, and two, it's tremendously better. That's not gonna bother me anymore driving down the road. It's just amazing, guys. Super stoked. Well, that's it. We're done. The repair's done. That was a super easy repair. So easy. Super easy DIY type project. If you guys wanna try to tackle this, I highly recommend it. I'll put link in description below of the kit we use. Got off Amazon. It showed up at my doorstep in another 24 hours. It's caught six bucks a piece, so it's really not a lot of risk there. Get a couple kits, try it out. If you screw up, fix your mistakes, try it again. But uh, there we go. Practically as good as new. Now, might I add, working in this garage is amazing. Guys, if you are new, you probably would not have seen the Garage Build series, but definitely go check that out. Everything in this garage is completely transformed over the last few months. From the floors, to the walls, to the baseboards, to the cabinets, to the TV, to that thing over there. Everything we've done in this garage was DIY, did it myself, and completely built my dream garage. We're not finished yet, but guys, this is coming along so well. If you want to check out that Garage Build series, definitely go check it out. I'll put it on the screen here in just a second. But that's going to close it out, guys. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe. Be part of the Lone Star Hawaiian family. If you have not followed me on Instagram yet, Lone Star Hawaiian on Instagram. See updates on the Charger, the truck, the Mercedes, everything we do on the garage, all updated there before you see anything dropping on YouTube. That's going to close it out, guys. We'll see you in a few days for the next video. Aloha.